Solute, Solvent and Solution by kscience.com. If you have a cup of pure water and some salt, in this case sodium chloride, and you wanted to dissolve the salt in the water, then the salt is known as the solute. And because the water is the substance in which the salt dissolves in, the water is known as the solvent. When the salt is added to the water, the salt dissolves in the water. This forms a mixture known as salt water, and this salt water is known as a solution. So the salt is the solute, as that is the substance that dissolves. The water is the solvent, because that is the liquid in which the solute dissolves in. And then the salt water is the solution. That is the mixture of the solvent and the solute. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. To understand what a solute, solvent and solution is, let's think about how to make a cup of coffee. So first you need coffee granules. Next we have some water. We then add the coffee to the water where the coffee dissolves in the water. The coffee is the solute because it is the substance which dissolves in the solvent. The water is the solvent because it is the liquid in which the solute dissolves in. The coffee dissolved in the water forms the cup of coffee and this is the solution. This is the mixture of the solvent and the solute, in this case the water and the coffee. To understand what the term solute, solvent and solution mean, let's imagine we wanted to make a cup of tea. So this is easier to understand, we're not going to make this tea with milk and sugar. We're only going to use a tea bag and some water. The tea bag is placed into the water where the tea dissolves. The tea is the solute because this is the substance which dissolves in the solvent. The water is the solvent because this is the liquid in which the solute dissolves in. The cup of tea is the solution. This is a mixture between the solute and the solvent, in this case, the tea dissolving in the water. To summarize, we're going to make a small table to outline which is the solute, solvent and solution in each example. In the salt water example, the solute is the salt, the solvent is the water and the solution is the salt water. In the cup of coffee example, the solute is the coffee granules, the solvent is the water and the solution is the cup of coffee itself. In the cup of tea example, the tea leaves are the solute, the water is the solvent and the solution is the cup of tea itself. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.